Isabella's quick recipes. Today I'm going to show you how to make tiramisu cookies. I have really been on a tiramisu kick this week. Ever since last week's video, the raspberry white chocolate tiramisu, I have just been going crazy with the flavors. I'm starting off with this bowl. I'm going to add two sticks of butter and I'm going to cream them together with the sugar. This is brown sugar and white sugar. How is everybody doing this week? I hope you guys are having a good week. Mine, I'm running a little late. Today's my Sunday, technically it's Thursday. I hope this video gets up in time. This butter is at room temperature. You can make this easier by using your handheld mixer or a standing mixer, but you know me, I'm just always too lazy to take them out of the cabinet. Now I'm gonna add two eggs and the one secret ingredient that's gonna make these one of the secret ingredients that's gonna just make these taste so tiramisu-like, the mascarpone cheese. Now, a lot of you may think, oh, mascarpone is probably the same as cream cheese, but it's slightly different. Mascarpone is almost like a pure cream. When you taste it, it leaves you like a little bit greasy feeling in your mouth, unlike cream cheese, and it also doesn't have that tangy taste of cream cheese. This is gonna make your cookies gooey on the inside. It's at room temperature as well. Next, we're gonna go in with our rum. Now I was at my parents' house and I had a lot of different selections of rum. I chose this Jamaican rum, which is dark and it's gonna be really good in these cookies. This is a tablespoon. This is already starting to smell so identical to tiramisu. Now, for those of you who didn't know, tiramisu means pick me up. And this will pick you up all right with this next ingredient. Wow, this is a teaspoon of ground espresso. Now you could use instant espresso if you like, or you can even use the espresso I'm using today. This coffee that I'm using today, I took it from my work because I only needed a little teaspoon. And I know these cookies are gonna be incredible because this coffee right here almost won first place in Golden Bean. For those of you who don't know Golden Bean, it's the world's largest coffee competition in the whole world. And we almost won first place, so we were only a few points away. If you guys wanna try this coffee, I'll leave the link down below in the description box and you can see for yourself. Now we're gonna add the dry ingredients. This is flour and cornstarch. And of course, this is gonna take a little bit of baking powder and salt. The best part about these cookies is that the dough does not need to chill. You're gonna add some chopped up dark chocolate and that's it. After it's fully combined, we're gonna put this on a baking sheet. The oven's been preheating at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, really hot. These are gonna bake for around 10 to 15 minutes. Halfway there. Do you guys see this? These cookies, they spread out a lot. It's okay though if they're touching because we're gonna fix it after and make them into perfect little circles. But do you see that? Oh my gosh, they're gonna have like the gooeyest center. The cookies are ready guys. Wow. Okay, now as you can see, these cookies spread a lot. The inside, as you can see, like the sides are crispy. You can tell that they're nicely golden brown. And the inside, it's slightly under baked. We're gonna pound the sheets on the counter just so they deflate a little and finish cooking on this super hot tray. And then we're gonna shape them so that they're better circular shaped. All right guys, time for the best part, taste test time. This is gonna be kind of tricky because these cookies are extremely gooey. Look at this. Ooh, oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was a close one. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Wow, these cookies, they taste so creamy inside. 
like the creaminess of the mascarpone really stands out. And you get a slight bitterness from the rum and the chocolate is bittersweet. But that coffee, it really accentuated the chocolate. One of the most craziest cookies I've ever tried in my life. Yes, these do taste identical to tiramisu. Now, if you guys enjoyed this recipe, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave your comments down below if you tried it out. And as usual, stay tuned for my quick and easy recipes, all of them always with a unique twist.